hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to check about authentication thing in code igniter so guys as in previous video when we are registered and logged in then that time so now over here when we are logging in the time you need to check right is the authenticated or not so i wanted to tell that log when you are logging in that time we have to set that it is authenticated or not so when he is authenticated he should be able to access this page right now as you can see that he can access admin page user page right without logging so i have not logged in but he can access this page if he is logged in what he should do if it if the user is logged in then he is accessible this page and when he click on login that time he should be redirected to user page and say he is already logged in so guys that authentication we are going to do that about this admin page and user page thing we'll see in next video how to give roles for this admin and user thing so guys let's get started with it so i have just made little bit of design difference just i have added one navbar into my template folder as i have gone to getbootstrap.com where version 4.5 inside this only i have copied and then just created one navbar as i will show you over here so inside header footer i have added one navbar which i have included this navbar into header page okay so simple that's it nothing else so let us close this and let's get back to a route to understand so guys a uh, simple which uh, we are going to user page so this user page i have created and access this page over here as you can see that user page we are getting to user controller at index function so i have created a user controller and this is the code and then i am calling the user page to view it then same with the admin also admin page where i am calling this admin controller i have created at index page so let me go to admin controller and this is the code where i am accessing the admin controller with admin page okay so as user page design is this so as very simple i have given over here so this is the user page design and coming to admin where you can see this user page coming to admin where you can see admin page is assigned so this is a small code for doing showing the status done so guys now let's get started with uh, authentication part checking okay so let me close all this and let's begin with it so now let's go to a route so when you log in okay so let i'll just show you let's go to config routes where you are going to log in okay so this is the login you are going to auth folder login controller at login function so let me go to controller where auth folder inside auth login controller is there right so now this is the login function inside this when it is success it is checking that user data is authenticated and his authenticated is equal to one he is giving okay so guys to check this one and the user detail also you have to fetch so once it is logged in so let me just log in and we will check it so guys let's just click on this login and see the registered user email id is right now at gmail.com and guys to save this uh, i mean let's click on this and give 1 2 3 4 5 6 and let's click on login so you will be logged in and you can see that user has been logged in successfully so guys it is logged in or not you cannot sure that so without authentication if i click again login you can see that again this login form is open so guys to solve all this thing we will check okay so let's get started with this so what we have to do let's create one model so let's let me arrange everything and let's go to our model folder inside that model i am going to create one new file called authenti authentication.php so let's click on it authentication.php and here we will write all the code for it so guys as simple to for the security purpose that the file should not be accessed so let's include that and we have to give this so let's create a class called a u t h e n authentication extends where c i underscore m o d e l let's create m o d e l model code igniter model where we are extending it and then we have to create one 
construct method so we will directly call this so let's create one public function where double underscore construct function you are going to create and inside this we are going to use some session and data so we have to access the parent construct method okay so let's call that and inside this let me just give semicolon and now we will check that things if it is status is success then he should be inside else he will be or re redirected outside so let's set this as session and, and then session of your set where I'm going to flash data so flash data function where inside this you will set the status and here you're going to pass that login first if it is not logged in so let's just use this redirect redirect function where you are going to use base underscore url where you will tell to login go login and come okay so that's it and now here you are going to check with this so we have to check this over here dollar this of session session of has 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 user data okay so this is the method to set data and you are, can check that if it is having or not so what does it has so when you log in that time you are setting this when you log in if you are not understanding this please watch out the login series which is link is given into description and now guys when you are setting this as one over here so one is called as user okay two will keep at as admin so we will be learning in next video about that roles and permission so let's copy this when it is set as authenticated that time we will check over here okay so if he is authentication it will be inside so let's check this one more if condition if dollar this of session of user data directly you can access so that is authenticated where this value is equal to where one okay so if he is one then he will be accessible so you can echo that and check so you can mention him as you are user okay so you are a user you can just mention or you are logged in you can give this so guys now we have to access wherever we want to check the authentication so as simple we have created the controller over here so we are already logged in so let's get back to the code and we have to call this authentication file in wherever we have to check so where where you have to check like logged in or not so you can click on this user page and admin page when he is logged in he should be able to check okay so let's get back and yep guys so where is our login okay let's go to user controller so this is the user controller over here you are going to fetch that so here you will be fetched and the admin controller you want to fetch on these two pages so for that guys we will check out so let's create a construct method so let's type public function where underscore construct function okay so inside this we will check so we have to access all the sessions and all so let's use parent construct parent underscore double underscore construct function method and then you are going to dollar this of load of model function so inside this model function what you are going to load is nothing but your authentication file so let's copy this and paste here that's it and now when you are authenticated you will be checking that session okay so now guys let us uh, go back and you can check so let me just get it over here where you are here okay so you are a user you can see that so if you go in admin there is no authentication so let's check that also so when you go to admin so let's copy the same thing and paste in your admin file let's paste it so let us go back admin and click on it so you are user you can see that it is authenticated so guys now what i want to tell that it's uh, showing that you are user so let me just comment this okay now commented and let's click here 
so guys once you are authenticated that time you should check your data is coming or not inside this admin so for that i'll just show you one thing which is inside this auth user so let's copy this auth user and get this user data so what you have to do let's go to our controller not controller where is the user page okay let's view the user page inside view you can see the user page so here is a user page where first name we have to show it so let us show the first name for it so guys now paste i have already done with this i just copied and pasted now so first underscore name okay so this first underscore name from where you are getting from your login controller so as you can see this author details this user details you are storing as array which is first name last name and email the same thing you are storing in this auth user so i am calling that and pasting over here so if you required you can call the last name also as usual okay so you can paste that as last name done and the email you can call this again email whatever you have saved there you can call it email save it and let's get back let's reload this page you are in admin so let's go to user we have set that on user cool so you can see this way that gmail.com was logged in and his name and details have come right so let me same thing we have to paste on the admin page so let me go to admin page and paste the same detail so let's refresh go to admin page and now when i click to login we have to say that you are already logged in so for that we have to change one code as simple let us go over here and when you go to your login controller you have to check that this authentication so let's copy this this is the one time thing so you don't need to write a class and many more things so you can directly call here so if if dollar this of session where your has authenticated i mean has user data of authenticated then we will check okay so that time we will set this only i mean not this where is the session message i just wanted to copy this and set so let's set this and if he's a normal he will be logged in as user i mean user page he can go okay and you can tell you are already logged in so let's set the status and same for this registration also okay then for your registration form where it is at your construct method after parent construct you have to paste this set and now let us go and view it so let me just go and let's click on a uh, login button so you can see you are already logged in so you cannot go and access the login or register so if you feel on you can set the status so guys now what we have to do is that uh, one more thing which we have to set is that this if you are logged in that time this register and login button should not see okay and here the user should be able so right now it is in this condition right so let us just set that also so let's go to our nav bar where is our nav bar okay inside templates you can see this navbar.php so as simple it's very clean code where you can find this so guys you have to just set one status where as simple which you did in the login controller so you can copy the same code and replace with it so let me just paste this i don't need this things so let us remove that so th only this we required so let us what we have to do open php and close php let's paste this and give colon okay instead of curly brace you can use the colon or else uh, it might be confusing so let me just sh show you with curly brace only okay so let's open php and close the curly brace and then close the php simple if he is authenticated then you will be not seen okay so just set this as not 
let me just check it whether it works cool so your login and registration is not shown over here so guys now let us set this as username also which we have fetched on your user page same thing so what we have to do let me go to user page and copy this data over here so let's copy this and go to our nav bar where this username is pasted so same thing you can repeat and call the last name also and now for your logout system please watch out the next video how to log out it okay so let's save this and you can see everything is working fine so everything is correct so guys we have finally seen that how to check authenticated or not okay so in next video we will see about how to check that the user is admin or normal user okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share